Hi everyone, I hope you enjoyed last week's session with Erin and making the paint brushes. What I'm going to show you today is how to make an outside mandala. So maybe you don't know what a mandala is um, and you can actually do like a Google search if you want to see any examples. But what it is, is like geometric shapes all coming together. So circles, squares, triangles, all of them kind of coming together to make an image. And this then is really called a mandala. And it can look like anything. Um, not any mandala is going to be the same. It's kind of unique to you and to your family. But you may have actually seen some of these in like art therapy colouring in books. Um, you may see them if you do yoga. You may actually see similar stuff to this as well. Because what a mandala is really to represent is like meditation and focusing your attention um, creating kind of like a sacred space where you're able to go to it and kind of relax and meditate. So whether you do maybe have a favourite spot in the house, maybe you have your favourite blanket or toys or a beanbag chair there, maybe you go there to relax. Um, and if you do have a space like that, you can actually create your own mandala and kind of have it there in that space just to kind of represent this is my space. This is for me to focus my attention on myself um, and to relax and meditate. But what we're going to do today is actually an outside one. So when you're next out with the family, you could bring maybe like a bag with you just to gather some things. So while you're out walking, you could collect some sticks, um, twigs, rocks, stones, leaves, um, collect them all in a bag and then you can decide during your walk where you're maybe going to stop and make this mandala so you may do it like on a path that's clear and um, you might do it on the grass or you may even bring your bag home and do it maybe in your own back garden um so it depends but as long as you kind of gather different wee bits and bobs um then you can kind of make a mandala so the mandala doesn't have to be any certain shape um, i'm gonna actually show you me out on my walk and the mandala that i made so that's just an example. It's just kind of putting those leaves and the sticks um, together and the stones and just placing them in different places. And this is something the whole family can get involved in. So it's not maybe a mandala for just one person, but instead this mandala is like the family's mandala. So someone might start putting down sticks in different places. Someone else might be putting leaves in certain places and just make it like a nice thing that you can all do together. So I'll show you now my videos of me out in my walk and the mandala that I created. So I hope you enjoy doing this. So out on my walk, I've been just gathering some things um, on my journey. So anytime I've maybe seen a branch or even a twig, anything at all that kind of caught my eye, I would pick it up and I had like a wee bag with me. So I also put into it some leaves. Now I haven't been able to find a lot of different colors. Some of them are slightly lighter, like a light brown. Others are like um, more like a red. So. And then there's some here that are very dark ones. So you may be able to find some different colors like that. Um, you may also find ones that are full big leaves like that size. But you may also find ones that are quite small like this one. So if you just gather different things on your journey, um, put them in a bag, um, go on your walk. And then whenever you find a spot that you'd like to make um, your art, then take everything out and have a look at the area maybe think about what you might want to do um and then just begin so i've sped this up just so that you don't have to spend too long watching me do this um it took me just still quite a wee while so i chose grass um to make my mandala just because the path was quite thin and there's still other walkers about so i actually ended up kind of getting in people's way so that's why i've done it in the grass um I started off by just placing some things down and then after I had a few things down I just stood up and um, stood back away from it and looked at it and seen is there anything I want to change 
um, and I just kind of continued doing that until I was happy enough with it. So this is my mandala. So as you can see, there's not really any certain thing it looks like. Um, it's just made up of different um, coloured leaves, different shapes and sizes. I did some lines and I did some kind of wee dots in other areas. I also just placed twigs and sticks and branches um, in various locations too. Now it took a wee while until I was kind of happy with how it looked but um, I'm happy with it now and I'll let, I'm going to leave it there so anyone else who is out and about on their walk will hopefully um, come up and enjoy it as well.